Hey everyone, it's Riley and today I've got some bullet journal theme ideas for you guys for the month of May or whatever other month you're trying to plan for right now. So I made a video like this back in April and a lot of people said that they appreciated it. So I decided to do it again for May because if you don't already know, I sell custom bullet journals over on Etsy. So pretty much my full-time job is just like filling bullet journals for people. So I come up with so many different monthly themes every week as I make those bullet journals. So I decided to compile some of the ones that I thought might be a good fit for May into this video. So today we've got five pretty easy themes for you guys. Now the first one is my own May monthly theme. So I will not be doing that one in this video because I made a whole plan with me video for that one, um, which I will link above. But the hope is that you guys can take any of the ideas, whether it's from my May plan with me or the other four theme ideas that I give you, and you can take those doodles and apply them to whatever kinds of spreads you want. So in the video today, I will just be setting up like a mock title page using each theme. I won't be making like a monthly calendar with, with each theme and like habit trackers and stuff. But the idea is that you can take the doodle ideas that I give for the cover page and then put those on your cover, on your calendar, your habit trackers, whatever you like to use for your monthly themes. So one of my main goals on my channel is to make bullet journaling accessible, accessible to everyone. So that's one of the big reasons that I post videos like this because this is just five easy theme ideas that pretty much anyone can do. So for the most part, I just use markers. I did use a little bit of washi tape, but in the past, if you've watched some of my videos before I got washi tape, I would just like color rectangles with marker. So you can definitely do that too if you don't have washi tape. In this video, I also will be using a little bit of craft paper, but I seriously like got it out of an Amazon parcel that was sent to me. So I'm sure you can find some lying around as well. Also for all four themes that I'll be drawing in this video, the entire video, like all of the unedited footage was only 26 minutes. So that means I spent like an average of maybe like six minutes on each video because that 26 minutes included me getting up and running over to my desk a couple of times because I forgot certain markers or whatever. So these themes were very quick to do and I seriously think that anyone with markers and maybe a bit of practice can recreate these themes in their own bullet journals. So let me know down in the comments which of these themes you like the best and if you decide to use any of them, please feel free to tag me on Instagram if you recreate them. So the first one that we're making today, I'm actually making in a custom journal that I'm currently working on. And so this theme is part of a pastel color palette journal that I'm making. So I decided to go with this little beachy crab and sandcastle theme. So I have done this once before, um, but I figured it would be fun to do it again. So I'm just using my light brown to draw a sandcastle here and a slightly darker brown to color um, a door and some like little windows, I guess, and add just some dimension to the sand. So if you wanted to, you could certainly use a black fine liner to make the outline of this and then color it in after. I've been recently experimenting with just color and not really using as many black lines in my work. And I don't know, I'm kind of playing around with it. I really like it for some things and for other things, I still default to using my fine liner a lot. But for this theme, I decided to leave it without the lines um, and just have it all in color. So the only place that I'm really adding black fine liner is to put the little face on this crab. So you can see all the things that we drew here, they're using really um, sort of basic shapes. You know, the sand castle, I pretty much just made that like slanted edge rectangle and added those little prongs on the top, if you know what I mean. Um, the crab is a pretty basic shape as well. So nothing too complex about this theme and you don't need too many colors either. Now for the title, I am doing some calligraphy for the word May and this is kind of my like current default font. I am loving this hand lettering style lately. So I've been doing it a lot and I usually darken up the top half of the letters using that same color, just like you saw me do there. So that's theme number one. Now moving on to the next one, I wanted to give this one totally a different feel than the first one because like I said, I want this video to um, have ideas for everyone, even if your bullet journal style is bright and colorful or if it's more muted and toned down, hopefully there will be something for you. So the first one we did a pastel theme. This one uses um, some muted blue and green and orange and then a pop of that yellow, which is a bit more bright. So I drew a little mug as you can see. And again, I didn't use a ton of black fine liner for this theme. You certainly could. You could go around all of those little flowers and around the mug and stuff like that, but that's totally just a matter of preference. I also added some washi tape 
to this one and adding the washi tape made me wish that I had done a grid over like the entire background kind of like I did in my February plan with me so I'll link my February plan with me here in case you want to know what I mean by that but I really like making a grid background with either a light gray or a light tan color um, I think it's really fun and so I did sort of a partial grid background behind the mug but I really wish that I had done more I think it would have made the washi tape fit a lot better with this theme so I will link that video above if you want some inspiration for that but there it is, just that little mug. I used some white gel pen to spice it up, added those flowers, and just sort of played around with a little bit of collage elements, and then just added my title, May. Now the next one here, I am again using my same sort of calligraphy font, darkening up the top half of the letters, just like I did for that first little crab theme. And this one here that we're doing right now, um, this is the theme that took the most time. It still took less than 10 minutes to make. Um, but it is a bit, it's not more complex. We're really just doing the same thing over and over again, but you're just filling like 100% of the page. So there's gonna be a lot more time involved. So you can use whatever color you want to make your monthly title. And then I took my larger black fine liner. So this is a 0 0.05 nib, and I'm just making these leaves. And as you can see, after I've made the stem, each leaf is just like one motion. I just kind of go back and forth with some curved lines and that's the whole leaf pattern. So it's really easy once you pick up on it and I just kind of put them going in all angles, all directions until I am happy with how full the page is. So another thing that you definitely could do with this is like mix in one or two other types of leaves as well or maybe one or two other flowers. You could add color if you wanted to. But for me, I don't know, this theme just looks like kind of classy and elegant almost in my opinion. So for the first one, I did kind of a fun pastel one. The second one, a bit more of a muted one with some collage elements. And now this one I feel like just looks a little bit, um, I don't know if elegant is the right word, but that's the word that I'm gonna go with here. It just looks kind of classy and timeless, if you know what I mean. So there you can see I tried to fill all the white space in the corners with just some odd leaves and that's the finished product for theme number three. So for the final one here, I am using a bit of a grid background, which I talked about doing earlier and actually this is the reason I didn't do it with that mug one is because I knew that I wanted to do it here in this final one. Um, and so you can see I'm starting off just by making a big rectangle with rounded corners but I did leave the bottom open just because I want some flowers kind of overlapping this little grid that I'm gonna make. So since I'm using such a dark green, I certainly could have just drawn the entire rectangle, um, but for some reason I decided not to do that. So whatever you decide to do, I'm drawing these flowers in the same style that I drew them inside that mug. And the reason is this is just such a simple way to draw flowers. And I think they just look so happy and cute for like May and spring and stuff like that. So I make the leaves with just kind of a teardrop shape. And then the flower is essentially that same shape, but just three of them side by side, if you know what I mean. Now for the yellow flowers, I just made sort of a cup shape. Um, so a U and then just drew a line straight across the top and filled that in with yellow. And now I'm adding some white gel pen, which is from Mr. Pen. And you can't necessarily see it that well on camera all the time, but this gel pen I found is very, very opaque for being a white gel pen. So it's my go-to. 
Now you can see I'm going in and adding the grid. So this is a bit of a darker grid than I normally do. I normally would go in with my lightest gray or my lightest tan color. Um, but for this one, I decided to make it a little bit more um, dominant since it's one of the key features here. And my grid is two bullet journal grid spaces wide and two bullet journal grid spaces tall. Um, I have also done it where it's just one grid space wide and one grid space tall, but then you're gonna get a very small grid. So like I said in the intro, I did want to incorporate a bit of craft paper because I know that lots of people love using that in their journals and I did find this just in an Amazon parcel that was sent to me. So I cut this rectangle shape again with rounded corners and I pasted it right onto the middle, added a slight drop shadow with some light gray. And I'm just adding um, like kind of clips, I guess, as if it, they're hanging on to this um, like grid or pegboard that's kind of behind it. So that's the look that I was going for there. And now I'm using just some white gel pen to write out May in a faux calligraphy style. So I'm basically just writing May um, similar to the way that I would write it in plain old cursive, um, but I'm leaving a bit of space beside each downstroke so that I can go in and add another downstroke, if you can see what I mean. So those are the themes for today. We've got our little pastel crab and sandcastle. And then we've got a mug with some flowers coming out and a bit of washi and the classy May title with some black fine liner leaves and the final one. Thank you all so much for joining me to check out some different easy May theme ideas. I hope that you like them and I hope to see you guys in the next video.